This presentation deals with the analysis of the experimental and the numerical behavior of lattice structure produced through additive manufacturing processes. My name is Andrea Tridello and I am a researcher at the Politecnico di Torino. This research has been carried out in collaboration with the Society Altair, leader in simulation driven design. In the last year, the research on the mechanical behavior of lattice structure has gained significant, att significant attention among researchers working at university and in industry. Indeed, components made of lattice structure can be hardly produced with traditional manufacturing processes, but the development uh, of additive manufacturing processes, on the other hand, has made it possible their production and their diffusion. That structures are defined as three-dimensional structure composed of interconnected cells. Each cell is composed by struct and nodes. The cell geometry, as well as the cell parameters, like the strut diameter, the cell size, significantly affect the mechanical properties of the final component or the specimen. This parameter, shown in red in this slide, can be optimized to obtain the required mechanical properties, depending on the application. For example, components made of lattice structure are used for energy absorption, like the helmet in the figure, in prothesis and as tissue interface, or for heat exchanger, with the aim of maximizing heat exchange. In this presentation, I will focus on the first application, that is energy absorption, as can be seen in this image. The main objective of the entire project is the design of a crash box made of lattice structure with high energy absorption. In this presentation, I will focus on the first part of the activity, which involves the experimental assessment of the cell with the highest energy absorption capability and the simulation of the lattice experimental response with the objective of assessing the most efficient model capable to simulate the lattice behavior under compressive loads. These goals are pursued with the following steps. At first, the cell with the highest absorption capability is assessed. Different in this presentation, different from the, the literature, uh, this objective is pursued through quasi-static compressing tests on lattice structure specimen made of carbon nylon. In the literature, indeed, the cell mechanical properties are generally obtained through simulations, in particular by modeling one cell and comparing the mechanical properties, uh, the mechanical response of cell with different, different geometries. Thereafter, compression tests are simulated by using 1D element to obtain the solution in a limited testing time without a, limit, a loss of accuracy. Through this step, the 1D model is tuned. In the third step, compression tests are carried out on aluminium, silicon, tech, magnesium uh, specimens, the material that probably will be used for the crash box. Finally, the model developed for tests on carbon nylon specimen is used for simulating the experimental response of aluminium alloy specimen under compression. For the assessment of the cell with the highest absorption capabilities, five lattice cells are compared. They have been selected from the literature papers and from a study carried out in Altair. All the cells can be inscribed in a cube and the specimen made of this cell have been developed with the software Creo 3D. In order to compare the mechanical properties of the cells, they have been produced with a carbon nylon filament uh, with a 3D printing system available at the DINLAB at the Politecnico di Torino. In particular, the Ultimaker 5S printer was used with, F with an FDM technique. The specimen geometry used for compression test was defined according to the literature. In particular, the unit cell size was chosen equal to 9 mm, and three cells each side were considered for the specimen. Indeed, according to the literature, a number of cells smaller than three, more than four, permit to obtain a pure compression uh, behavior instead of a mixed shear compression failure. Moreover, the nominal cell diameter was chosen equal to 1.5 mm, optimized according to the FDM processes. The compression tests were carried out with a Zwick Roller Z Z100 uh, testing machine by imposing a cross head displacement of 1 mm per minute. The specimen was recorded during the test by using DynoLine microscope in order to compare the specimen experimental displacement and the numerical wall. For each specimen geometry, two repetitions were considered. 
in this slide, the acquired force displacement response uh, obtain, obtained by testing each specimen geometry is plotted. The first test uh, is shown since the scatter between the two tests was not so large and the trend was almost the same. As can be seen in the figure, the cell geometry strongly influenced the compressive response uh, with very large differences. Uh, for example, all the species show free peak and free valley in the plastic region. These valleys indeed correspond to the failure of one layer of cell. For the cell 8, this behavior is less pronounced. The cell number 4 uh, shows the best behavior. However, for a proper comparison, different parameters like the peak force, the total absorbed energy and the specif specific energy absorption should be compared. This last parameter, the specific energy absor absorption uh, or SEA in the following is very important for the analysis of the crash behavior since it permits to normalize the absorbed energy. It is defined as the ratio between the energy after the elastic range divided by the compressed volume. In this range, the parameter is quite constant with slight variation. Since the area of the uh, for the computation of the volume is not constant in lattice structure, an, aver an average area is considered. In this slide, the peak force, the absorbed energy, and the SEA are compared. By considering this graph, the energy absorbed by cell 4 is significantly larger than the energy absorbed by other cells, being about uh, twice the, high, the highest value for other cells. On the other hand, peak force is also larger for cell uh, 4, even if this uh, is not positive in case of impact test. By considering the specific absorbed energy, the largest value is for cell number 3. However, the average value for the SEA for cell 3 and cell 4 is about the same. Therefore, by considering the SEA the absorbed energy, uh, and absorbed energy, the cell number 4 was finally chosen, since it ensures the highest absorbed energy, which is a parameter of fundamental importance if the impact behavior is considered. The experimental results obtained in the first part of the activity have been used for the validation and the calibration of a finite element model. The simulation of the behavior of the parts made of lattice structure is not simple. Indeed, in order to model the struts and the nodes, a large number of elements should be considered due to the small diameter of the struts increasing the computation time. On the other end, too simple or approximate model could not be capable to properly simulate the real behavior of the material. In this work, the selected specimen has been simulated by using 1D element according to the Timoshenko theory for the material properties and elastoplastic behavior was considered and the real curve in the plastic range was inserted point by point. Moreover, the contact between beams was also simulated. The base nodes uh, were constrained and the uh, displacement was, was imposed on the node at the top and uniformly transmitted to the specimen upper face with rigid elements. The model was created with the software HyperMesh and the solver used was Radio. In this slide, the experimental and the numerical results are analyzed. In particular, the force displacement curve, the failure mode and the absorbed energy are compared. By considering the force displacement curve the, in the elastic region, the two curves are very close. And the peak force obtained experimentally and numerically are similar with the finite element curve between the two experimental curves. For the plastic region, the average numerical curve is close to the experimental curves. In particular, the failure of the first and of uh, the third layer found experimentally uh, and numerically occur at the same displacement and peak force, whereas in the simulated curve, a net failure of the second layer is not evident. However, the difference between the peak force and the absorbed energy and the SEA are limited, being less than 9% for the peak force and very limited, less than 3% for the absorbed energy and the SEA, which are the fundamental parameters in the impact test and thus validating the model, this simplified model. Moreover, by comparing the video recorded experimentally and the one obtained through simulation, it is clear that the failure mode is very similar with the lower layer failing first. This analysis confirms that the 1D model can be exploited to accurately simulate the complex compressive response of lattice structure in a limited testing time, about 10 minutes, with results very close to the experimental ones. 
for example, with 3D element, the same simulation, ta ta uh, same simulation lasts more than 80 hours. Finally, compression tests were carried out on lattice structure in aluminium silicon tech magnesium uh, alloy, which is the material that will be used for the crash box. The, the cell geometry was the one selected in previous analysis, of course, and the same testing equipment and configuration was considered. In this uh, image, the, the force and the, the, the force uh, curve, uh, force displacement curve for the test one is reported. The test was stopped when the force drop was the 70% of the peak force. For the second test, the force drop selected for the test end was larger than 90% with the curve showing the densification re region. Even with this complete curve, the, the, the three peaks and valleys corresponding to the rear failure were not found. This experimental curve therefore suggests that a different failure mode occur for this material. Indeed, by analyzing the recorded video, the space and fail at 45 degrees, as shown in this slide, this, according to the literature, could be to the different stiffness of the cell. Therefore, in order to attain the failure mode found for the carbon nylon, the strut diameter should be reduced. In this figure, the experimental curve and the simulated one are plotted together. In the elastic range, the two curves are closed. On the other end, the difference is evident in the plastic region. With the finite element model above the, experiment, uh, the, the experimental curve above the finite element model, and uh, since the, the finite element model is not capable to simulate the cell failure, especially when the force uh, drop in the experimental case. Therefore, a failure mode called failure plastic strain, indicating the plastic strain energy at which the one element fails, is introduced. In this figure, the numerical uh, model with the failure mode is plotted together with the experimental data. The rest elastic region is still in agreement and also the plastic region with the failure mode capable to simulate the cell failure. With this failure mode, the, the elements are deleted and this justifies the rapid drop of the curve. However, the, direct, the decrement trend is very close by considering the experimental the numerical curve. This, uh, the energy with respect to the displacement plot in this slide for to confirm the model parameter. This analysis has shown that 1D model can be used to, uh, for simulating the response of, uh, of a specimen with different stiffness, but the interaction between the base material, the self stiffness, should be carefully taken into account, and the validation of the failure mode is fundamental for the simulation of lattice structure. To conclude, the response of specimen, very briefly, the response of specimen made of lattice structure has been investigated numerically and experimentally. Experimental test on carbon nylon specimen to assess the cell, ensuring the higher absorption capability under compression loads uh, is, uh, are carried out. The peak force, the absorber energy and the SEA are compared. Thereafter, compression tests on the selected cell uh, are, have been simulated through finite element analysis with 1D element and the model was found to be in agreement with the experimental data. The same tests were carried out on, uh, on an aluminium alloy, uh, space, on aluminium alloy specimens uh, for which a different failure mode was, was found. The test was also simulated differently from the carbon nylon. The model was found to be in agreement only if a failure mode was considered due to the influence of the cell stiffness. To conclude, and these are the most important conclusion, the behavior of lattice structure can be reliably simulated with 1D element, permitted to obtain accurate results in a limited time, about 10 minutes. Moreover, and this is very important, the interaction between the cell stiffness and failure mode should be experimentally verified to properly simulate the experimental response. These preliminary uh, results represent the first step for the design of a crash box with lattice structures.